Hello, this is Dr. Garima, one of the doctors in the Gynae Clinic. May I know your name and age, please? Uh, yes, this is Jane Reynolds and I'm 60 years old. Okay, and how should I call you? Jane should be fine. Okay, Jane, so I can see from the GP letter that you have come here to discuss some of your reports. Is that right? Uh, yes, doctor. So, basically, I had these symptoms of mild pain in my tummy and also uh, my appetite has gra uh, gradually reduced over this uh, two months so i uh, i went to the gp they did some tests which included a scan on a blood test and then after the reports they asked me to see you okay jane surely i'll be addressing your concerns but before that is it okay if i ask you a few questions so that we can reach a safe and mutually agreed management plan okay doctor uh, so, uh, can you tell me more about your concerns? Yeah, so I, as I told that I have pain and uh, this dragging sensation in my tum tummy since two months. Okay, and do you also feel any mass? Uh, no, doctor. And uh, do you have any uh, bleeding or discharge down below? No. Any weight loss? No. Any uh, problem with your uh, opening your bowel? No. Any problem with the waterworks? No. Any shortness in your breath or bone pains or headache? Uh, nothing like that, doctor. Okay. And uh, do, are you getting your periods now? Uh, no, they stopped five years back. Any bleeding afterwards? No, doctor. Any hormonal therapy that you're on? No, doctor. Or uh, any uh, problem of uh, vaginal dryness or bone pains? Uh, nothing like that. Okay, some of my questions uh, you might find intrusive, but they are important. Uh, can you tell me, uh, like, if you any problems with sex that you are having, any dryness or bleeding? Nothing like that, doctor. Have you been regular with your smears? Yes. Uh, have you been pregnant before? Yeah, I'm a mother of two. And both were normal delivery, everything was fine. Good to hear that. And uh, any family history of cancer? No, doctor. Any history of cancer in the family? No. Uh, any medical illness for which you are seeing the GP? No. Any surgeries in the past? No. Okay. Do you uh, any allergies? No. Do you smoke? No. Consume alcohol? No. Any recreational drugs? No. Okay. What's your weight height ratio? It is 26. And uh, what about your blood group? E positive. Okay. So and how? Uh, whom do you live with? So I live with my husband and he's very supportive. Okay, good to hear that. Thank you for all this information. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Uh, no, doctor. Okay, so Jane, I would like to examine you in the presence of the chaperone with your consent. I would like to uh, check your blood pressure, your heart rate, and like to examine your tummy and also down below for any abnormality. Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, Jane, now coming over to your concerns. Uh, I can see that you're all alone. Uh, do you want to call anybody to be with you? Because I'll be giving you a lot of information. Uh, no, doctor, that's fine. My husband is uh, on work and he will not be able to come. So you can tell me, is there anything serious? Uh, has anybody discussed with you about the reports? No, they just did the reports and they had sent me to you. Uh, is there anything concerning, doctor? Or uh, well, Jane? I uh, the, uh, I have some difficult news for you. Uh, I have checked your name and NHS number on the reports, and I'm sorry to tell you that I don't have a very good news for you. Um, there are two. What doctor? What is the problem? So uh, yes, Jane. So we have two reports with us. One is the uh, the scan which was done first, which was little suspicious of cancer because it had a uh, mass which was arising from your uh, egg basket uh, we call it ovary and uh, so the GP had certain suspicion so he did another test which is a protein which is uh, released in the blood and it is released in various conditions but here mostly we are worried about cancer so in your case both these uh, reports are suspicious of cancer and based on these reports, we calculate a score, uh, which is risk of malignancy index, which uh, tells us about the risk about the cancer. In your case, it is coming out to be 
560 and uh, in case if it is more than 250 i'm sorry to say that there is about three in four chance of developing cancer what doctor um, am i going to die uh, jane don't lose hope oh, we are all here to support you and survival depends on various factors it depends on this how much the cancer has spread and how do you respond to the treatment and it has been seen that uh, the best of treatment uh, five year survival is around 45 to 100 okay doctor so what has to be done now so uh, such uh, uh, such cases have to be dealt in the cancer center with involvement of uh, all group of health professionals which will include uh, the consultant gynecologist the cancer physician cancer surgeon a specialist nurse called McMillian nurse uh, counselors if required genetist sleep doctor so all these will be involved in your care and uh, we will be uh, doing a special scan to see how much uh, which uh, which will tell us uh, appro approximately about the spread of the uh, disease we call it a CT scan and of your tummy so we will do that for you and after the report uh, the report we will be sending you to this group of uh, health professionals called MDT and uh, the basic management here will depend uh, will be uh, a surgery which is required it will be an open surgery done uh, where you will be put to sleep by the sleep doctor and uh, it, uh, uh, an upside down cut will be made on your tummy and the surgery will involve removal of your uh, womb along with the both the tubes and the ovaries and the surrounding structures which will include the fat around your uh, bowel loops and also the fluid around it all these tissues which will be removed will be sent for uh, examination to check for the spread of the cancer and based on the report we get uh, the further management will be decided so uh, after the surgery there are, uh, you might require additional treatment in the form of certain medicines to kill these cancer cells we call it chemotherapy and uh, usually they are given at three weekly interval uh, as a course of six cycles and uh, uh, post that you will uh, uh, you might have certain uh, during this uh, medicine medical treatment you might have certain problems like hair loss uh, you might feel sick so uh, but we will be giving you medications to manage that am i clear so far okay uh, okay doctor so uh, so uh, is it confirmed that this is cancer or uh, i can understand your concerns uh jane but uh, we, we can confirm it only once the surgery is done and we get the tissue report then only we can tell you for sure if it is cancer or not okay doctor so um so that means i need a surgery yes jane you need a surgery and uh, it has to be done as soon as possible uh, otherwise if we delay it it can result in upstaging so i will book an appointment for you with the uh, with the mdt team, uh, team as soon as possible and i'll uh, meanwhile i'll also arrange uh, an appointment with the scan doctor for this uh, specialist scan special scan and I can understand that coping with this uh, uh, cancer is not very easy. So I'll be with your permission. I'll be. I'll want uh, to connect you to the counselors and uh, support groups who can, which consist of people who have similar condition. Uh, is that okay? Uh, okay, doctor. And uh, post this treatment, you will be kept on a long term follow up with uh, scans and ultras uh, and scan and uh, blood report of c125 to see if there is any spread and uh, uh, i'll be giving you a 24 hour uh, contact number of, uh, on which you can contact in case you have any problem at any time 
and here is a patient information leaflet you can go through it once thank you so much for your time is there anything else that you want to ask